Okay. Now this question I saw it was asked in like my fellow interviewer in Goldman. number greater than two will have at least one uh, pair of prime numbers such that if we'll add those prime numbers it will become equal to that sum okay. uh, equal to that number okay. right so as an example uh, let's say let's say four is the number then you have to return two two right let's say in a in a list of integers you will return it as two two right um <clears throat> and there is one more thing i want you to do so basically there can be more than one pair for a number right so let's say if you are getting a pair a comma b and for the same number you are getting one more pair c comma d so i want you to return a comma b uh, the one in in the you know lexicographically smaller solution you, you just have to return what this means is basically if a is less than equal to sorry less than c right then you will return a b does it make sense or if it is equal then we will check b so if a is equal to c then check if b is less than d then return a comma b otherwise you will return otherwise you will return c comma d uh, so i have a doubt uh, yeah. that if a is equal to c then won't b would also be equal to d because we are taking the sum of two numbers um yeah i guess that is right is uh yeah right 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 so we, what you can what we can say if uh, a is less than equal to i think equal to is meaningless here right so let's compare only c b and c b and d b and d does it make sense now um so sir if a is uh, less than c if a is greater than or equal to is if a is greater than c then i have to check for b if b is less than mm. uh i think we can we can do that or or let, let's do it simply this because uh, what you are saying is 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 right basically if a is less than c right the other possible uh, thing will be c is greater than a and that would be like graphically smaller than right yeah so i think this condition will uh, suffice only one oh. thing you have to check okay, okay so. yeah uh so uh, here we can do like create a linked hash map okay and after that we first calculate uh, like the given number is 4 so till mm. there we calculate all the prime numbers using e uh, c of error mm. mm. and uh, all the prime numbers that we get we put it into a linked hash map so okay. after that we iterate over our linked hash map uh, get the number add uh, uh, then check if the difference is available there so mm. as uh, we are traversing in a uh, like from as like uh, strictly greater way so mm -hmm. by default we will get the smaller element first like a would always be smaller than c okay fine so yes that solution will work i i'll just want you to write the function to get all the primes delay that is the sieve code if you can okay Okay.
uh, so let's say if the element is three, hmm. so for uh, no the element. Oh yes, sorry. Element will only be an even. Well, I think this will be the proof for the okay. Uh, so, sir, initially, uh, I am taking just the number uh, mm -hmm. for which we had to get the sum, so that up to that point we can find the uh, all the prime numbers, mm -hmm. and I am returning the linked hash map that we uh, required for choosing the uh, sum okay. of two given numbers. So mm -hmm. what I am doing, I have given a boolean array uh, that will keep in check that what numbers have been primed, uh, marked as prime and what mm -hmm. have not been marked as, uh, like what, what are marked as non-prime. So okay. I start uh, my loop from 2 till n, mm -hmm. so as mm -hmm. 2 is the smallest uh, prime number. After mm -hmm. that, I will check that if the prime, uh, like in the boolean array, the value is false. That means that that number uh, has not been by has not been marked by any of its previous numbers. So it can, it is a prime number. So okay. uh, I will enter into the uh, if statement and mm -hmm. I will mark all the uh, numbers that are multiples of it. So okay. let's say if I get three, then I will start from six and I will do six, nine, 12, 15 uh, mm -hmm. till that number, uh, till mm -hmm. n. I will mark all of them true. So mm -hmm. I can say that these numbers will not be prime anymore. And mm -hmm. I will simultaneously add uh, uh, that i into a result uh, linked hash map. And finally, mm -hmm. I will return that result. Sure. Yeah, that will work. Um, can you tell me what is the time complexity of this? If you can figure it out. Uh, The time complexity, I believe it would be n log n.
Then I guess it would be O and no B. Yeah. So you're saying n log n, right? Yes, sir. Uh, can we like how are you thinking? Can you tell me that? Uh, sir, I was saying that for each iteration, mm -hmm. uh, the next, the second loop will work only n by two times. Like not n by two times, but uh, n by i times. N by i times. Yes, that sir. is right. Yeah. So after, so for each uh, uh, and there will not n by i times. So and as i is increasing for from that I was saying. But uh, for each number, it won't go to the next uh, word. Next statement. Right. Yes, hmm. sir. Will it be then O M log N M being the number of uh, prime that we have? Will that? So uh, we need to understand here uh, one thing. If you are saying log something, let's say log M log N, right? It it does matter that what is the base of that log, right? It cannot be log base to n or m because we are not dividing it by half every time right we are dividing it by some number some i number right so it 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 does de depend upon uh if, with what number we are dividing it dividing the loop or with what number we are progressing in the loop right uh sure uh, okay we can discuss about this uh, at the end right uh, let me ma make a note We'll discuss about this time complexity and the overall general time complexity of these things. But uh, but this solution will work, and I think this is the optimal solution here. Uh, okay, now this question I saw it was asked in like my fellow interviewer in Goldman actually asked this question with to someone. So. <clears throat> So it goes like this. I have written it somewhere. I'm writing it after your solution. So there are A items, right? And they are to be delivered in a circle of size B. So there are B people making a circle, right? And there are A items which we need to deliver to each of the person. Now person name is one, two, three, four, five, six till B, right? You need to find the position of the person who will get the eighth item, right? The last item, let's say I have the circ I have five people and I have to distribute seven items. Mm -hmm. So I will go in a circle and I'll start distributing it, right? Okay. And after that, uh, uh after one first of all one will get two three four five will get and then six seven will six will sixth item will go to one seventh item will go to two right so the last item has been delivered to two does it make sense uh, basically if a the total number of item to be delivered is seven yes. and b the total number of people making circle is five then my answer will be who will be the last person to uh, get the last item, the eighth item, seventh item? Answer will be two. Make sense? Yes. Sir. Yeah. So I will be giving you these two numbers, and we also have a follow-up in this question. But first of all, I just want you to solve this particular uh, problem. So I'm giving you A and B, and I want an integer in return, which will say who is the last, who will be the last person to get that. Uh, amount get that uh, get the last item. Uh, answer item will be delivered sequential in a sequential manner. Sequential manner, manner yeah. Okay, oh, sir.
and the people name starting from one the first okay. person will be one But if we have modulus a with b, mm. so from that let's say if b is five, uh, and we like we do a mod b, mm. the answer that we will be getting would be from between zero to four. Okay. And from there we can see that if it is ranging between one and four, then that would mean the person from one it, uh, like the first to four person, and uh, the zeroth person will be the fifth person. Okay. Right. Can you can you can you write it? Uh, so do I need to make a function for it, or can I write it? Sure. Uh, let me make the function. For you. So last uh, person who get item. Right. I'll give you a A. I'll give you a B. And I am expecting an integer from you. Answer A and B will always be integer values only. Yeah, always integer, always positive integer. Oh, yes, sir. I think this will. Okay. Um, Okay, let's run it for some of the cases. So <clears throat> if A will be 5 and B will be 5, then what will be the answer? Uh, so then the answer will be 5. The answer will be 5. Okay. And if A will be 4 and B will be 5? Uh, so then the answer will be 4. So what we are doing is A in 4 modulus 5, right? Yes. Okay. And there's one more case when A will be six and B will be five. In that case, six modulus five is one. And you're saying one will be the person to get the item, right? Yes. Okay. That's fine. That will work. Now, what I'm saying is there is one more integer C and I'm saying that the distribution will start from this person. So the constraint on the C will be one less than equal to C less than equal to uh, B. Does it make sense? Yeah. Now you need to tell me the last person, last person to get the item. Okay, sir.
uh, sir in this what i am thinking is that the core uh, like uh, we will still find person equals to a by b a mod b uh, from that we will get the uh, like the person if there was no uh, if the starting point was starting point was one like the first person then we okay. will add uh, the person variable that we are getting with mm -hmm. c and then again modded by b to get the person uh, who will receive the last item in this case okay. so like mm -hmm. uh, if the, uh, like if again the case was a equals to 7 b equals to 5 mm -hmm. uh, the answer should have been 2 but let's say if the uh, oh, let me write here Let's say if a equals to seven and b equals to five, and they will, let's say c equals to three. Mm. So earlier, if, for the previous question, the answer would have been two. Okay. But right <clears throat> now, as uh, we have started from three only, so mm. till three, the five uh, uh, parcels will be delivered, and after mm. that, uh, we have to move two more, so that will be five. So mm. what we will do? is the answer the earlier answer was two so we will do mm. two plus three and okay. we will mod it uh, by five we will mod it by five mm. so as the answer we will be getting would be zero mm. so it would be la the last person and let's say if the c was four so mm. it should have been received by the first person the last yeah. packet so two plus four would be uh one or uh, two plus four would be six mod five six. would be one so it would mm. be uh, again received by the first person only. So we can do that in this form. Uh, so if I write its code here, it would be Yeah. So uh, like earlier we checked the the first variable person only now we'll mm. be checking this last person variable we have mm. added uh, the answer that we received from earlier mm. added the starting point and then modular uh, more uh, like modulus it with b so from that we will get the la portion of the last person so from there we can do that if the last person is zero that means mm. uh, it would have been uh, like b the bth person uh, mm. Otherwise, we will just return last. What if the first person comes out to be zero? Uh, so, like in the like if A is five, old. B is five, mm. and you calculated first person as zero, right? Yes. Five modulus five is zero, and let's say yes. C is two. Yes, sir. So you're saying two modulus five answer will be two. That would be right in this case, right? And what if C is one, then you will add one and that would be the answer. So it is, it is kind of right. So it is kind of uh, managing uh, the zero thing, right? Because yes, you are starting from a person here. Yes, that is fine. But what if it is four in case of four, you're saying uh, and C is one that means it will become five, five it will again become zero and if it is zero you will make it five right yes, right i think yes it will work it will absolutely work uh let's run it once more in this example and then we can move to the next question uh so sir as we are given b equals to five hmm. so first what we will do would be we would be doing uh eight mod Eight mod five, that would mm. be three. After right. that, uh, so if uh, we start from the first person, the last person should have been the third. Uh, like the third person should be the last person to receive a delivery. Mm. But now the starting point is said to be two, mm. so so it will be three plus two, mm. uh, mod five, which would be five, uh, like which would give zero. Hmm. But because of our uh, program, it would be changing to five. Okay. So the fifth person would be the last person to receive it. As then it would have been three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So the fifth person will be the last person to receive. 
fifth person will be the last person to That's receive right. it if we are starting from the second person right yeah okay understood and this will work